Meditations for Every Day in the Year by Bishop Richard Chaloner. Easter Monday. On the lessons we are to learn from the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Consider first that according to the doctrine of the Apostle, Romans 4, 25, quote, Christ was delivered unto death for our sins and rose again for our justification, close quote. Inasmuch as his rising again from the dead was designed to be the model of our resurrection from the death of sin to the life of grace, but in what must our resurrection imitate that of Jesus Christ? First, we must imitate him by rising verily and indeed, that is, truly and really, and not in appearance only. Alas, how many at this time of Easter pretend to rise again with Christ by going to confession and communion, according to the custom of Christians at this season, and yet, after all, only deceive themselves and impose upon others with false appearances of life and never rise in effect because they do this great work but by halves their heart is not changed they do not effectually renounce their sins their pretended resurrection is but an empty airy phantom they are still dead in their sins see my soul that this never be thy case. Ah, what will it avail thee to deceive thyself and thy confessor with these treacherous appearances of a false life, which can only serve to plunge thee deeper into the worst of deaths? Consider, secondly, that when Christ rose again from the dead, he presently quitted his monument. He left his winding sheet behind him and retained nothing at all of death, and from that time he had little conversation with mortals, but only with his heavenly Father, to teach us that, if we would rise with him to the purpose, we must also quit our winding sheets and monuments, and all the appurtenances of death, by renouncing bad company and the dangerous occasions of sin, by keeping our passions under, and by breaking the force of all former bad habits, till no symptoms of death remain in us. But then, in order to walk in this newness of life, we must aim as much as we can to walk with God, by an inward solitude and a recollection of spirit, and to have our conversation in heaven by frequent and fervent prayer. Give ear to the Apostle, Colossians 3, quote, If you be risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above, not the things that are upon earth. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ shall appear, who is your life, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Close quote. Oh, that we were always possessed with these sentiments. Oh, that we could die to all things else, that we might truly live in God with Christ and through Christ. Consider thirdly that, quote, Christ rising again from the dead, dieth now no more, death shall have no more dominion over him. Romans 6 verse 9. So that if we imitate his resurrection, we must also rise in such a manner from the death of sin as to die no more by returning again any more to our sins. But to, quote, reckon ourselves henceforward to be dead to sin, but alive to God, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6 verse 11. This then is the great lesson we must learn from the resurrection of Christ. We must rise with him so as to continue forever to live with him and to return no more to the dominion of death. Ah, Christians, if you be now risen indeed from the death of sin to the life of grace, dread a second death by relapsing into mortal sin above all other evils that can possibly befall you. Oh, remember that if the devil who has now been cast out of your soul should take possession of you once more by relapse, he would, quote, bring with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and your last state would be worse than the first. Matthew 12, 45. Conclude with a hearty resolution of imitating in all these particulars the resurrection of our Lord, 
but especially take your precautions against returning any more to the death of sin after rising with Christ to a new life. To prevent so great an evil, be diligent in all your religious duties. Be constant and fervent in prayer. Fly all dangerous occasions. And keep up in your soul a perpetual horror of that hellish monster, sin. O oh, beg of God daily and hourly that you may rather die a thousand deaths than once consent to deadly sin. Thank you.